is a message to the believers at Ephesus. Now write this to the angel of the church at Ephesus. This is the important message to you from the one who holds the seven stars. He holds them carefully in his right hand. He walks among the seven gold lampstands. I know everything that you do. You have worked much for me. You have continued to work patiently. I know that you do not accept bad people as your friends. Some of these bad people say that they are apostles of Jesus. You have thought carefully about what they teach people. And you have discovered that it is not true. And you have been patient and strong in times of trouble. You have continued to serve me because you believe in me. You have not stopped because the work is too much. But I have something to say against you. You love me very much when you first believed in me. You do not love me as much now. Think carefully about this. You do not now live in the way you did at the beginning. So you must change the way you live. Do again the good things that you did at the beginning. If you do not change the way you live, I will come to punish you. I will take away your lampstand from its place. But this is something that you do well. You hate the bad things that the Nicolaitans are doing. I also hate what they do. God's Spirit is now speaking to people in the churches. You should recognize that the Spirit is speaking. Everybody who recognizes that should listen. They should listen to what He says. I will let everyone who wins against Satan eat my fruit. This fruit is from the tree that makes us alive. And this tree grows in God's garden. Jesus' message to the believers at Smyrna. Write this to the angel of the church at Smyrna. This is the important message to you from the one who is the first and the last. He was dead and he became alive again. I know that bad people are hurting you very much. I know that you are poor, but really you are rich. Some people there say that they are Jewish, but I know that they say bad things about you. I know that these things are not true. They are not really my people. Obey me. They are really a group of Satan's people. I know that trouble will soon come to you, but do not be afraid. Listen. The devil will cause some of you to go to prison. He wants to see whether you will continue to believe in me. As a result, you will have trouble and pain for 10 days, but continue to believe. Even if you must die, then you will win against the devil. I will give you a gift. As they give a crown to the winner of a race, I will cause you to live with me always. God's Spirit is speaking to you in the churches. You should understand what the Spirit is saying to you. You have ears, so listen carefully. The second death will not hurt anyone who wins against Satan. Jesus' message to the believers at Pergamum. Write this to the angel of the church at Pergamon. This is the important message to you from the one who has the sharp sword with two ages. I know where you live. It is the place where Satan sits as king. But you still continue to trust me. You remember Antipas who spoke a clear message about me? Because of that, some people in your city killed him. You saw what happened to him. But you continued to believe in me. You still serve me. Even there were Satan leaves. But I have a few things to say against you. Some people among you agree with what Balaam taught long ago. He taught Balak to do about things against God's people. Balak caused the Israelites people to do wrong things. As a result, they ate food that people have given to idols. They also had sex with people who were not their husbands or wives. Also, some people among you do the bad things that the Nicolaitans teach. So you must stop doing these bad things. If you not change how you live, I will quickly come to punish you. I will fight against those bad people with my sharp sword that comes out of my mouth. God's Spirit is speaking to you in the churches. You should understand what the Spirit is saying to you. Your ears so listen carefully. Everyone who wins against Satan, I will give some of my special food called manna. I will also give each them a white stone. 
I will write a new name on that stone, nobody will know that name except the person who receives it. Jesus' message to the believers at Chatera. Write this to the angel of the church at Chatera. This is the important message to you from the Son of God. He has eyes that burn brightly like fires. His feet shines like bright yellow metal. I know everything that you do. I know that you love me very much. I know that you believe in me. I know that you continue to serve me well. You're patient and strong. You do these good things now more than you did at the beginning. But I have something to say against you. You let that woman Jezebel teach you. She says that she is a prophet from God, but she leads my servant into bad ways. She teaches them to have sex with many people, and she teaches them to eat food that people have given to idols. I have given her time to stop doing these bad things, but she refuses to change how she lives. She does not stop having sex with other men. Listen to this, she has done bad things like that on a bed, so I will cause her to have pain on a bed. I will cause great pain for those who do the same bad things. They must stop doing the bad things that she teaches. I will hurt those who obey her so that they die. Then all the people in the churches will know that I look deep inside them. I know what you really want. I know what you really think. I will give each of you what is right for you as a result of what you have done. But I say this to you other people in Chatera. You have not agreed with what Jezebel taught. You have not learned what they call Satan's deep secrets. So I say to you, I will not tell you to obey any other difficult rules, but continue to obey my message that you already have. Believe in me until I come. You must continue to obey me until the end. You must win against Satan. To anyone who does that, I will give great authority. He will rule the countries of the world. He will rule them with an iron stick and with great power. He will be like someone who breaks clay pots into many pieces. He will have the same authority that I received from my father. I will also give the morning star to those people who win against Satan. God's Spirit is speaking to you in the churches. You should understand what the Spirit is saying to you. You have ears, so listen carefully. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 29.